welcome back. This is the second part in my unboxing series of Christmas and birthday things. This one is focused on stuff from scrapbook.com. As um, my friends really got me into watching their sales, so we shall see what we got. And this one is actually the smallest box. I had picked up some better press ink. I did also pick up a better press, which I haven't, as a birthday gift to myself, which I haven't unboxed. But we will do that probably, I don't know, I may do it in like a first look in a live kind of a thing. Just because I think it would be interesting, because I don't know very much about the better press. So these are the inks. They they sell their inks entirely in cubes, but they do sell reinkers for them. Basically, that's so that it's easier to ink the, the plates, because they use... Um, metallic plates essentially to do letter press techniques. And then this is the big box, if you will. This is the what I bought with some birthday money one. It's been very well taped. The funny thing is like I, since I haven't looked at this stuff in a while, I don't quite remember all the things that are in here. There are a lot of things in here. And some of them are freebies. So we'll start out with a freebie. I believe these are freebies at the type of the time of this order. As you guys oops, probably know, um, scrapbook.com does a lot of different coupony things. So it's worth sort of watching their sales because sometimes you get freebies. The only thing to watch is really that um, they can increase your shipping rate. So just FYI on that. Anyway, this ink blender, which looks a lot like the Ranger ones, except it says scrapbook.com, came free. And then I also picked up, these are uh, very thin foam tapes that are really good to make uh, shakers out of. So these ones were not a freebie. Let's see what is next in our... Uh, we have I got their six solar paste set. There's one left somewhere. Here we go. So these are a bunch of different Simon Hurley solar pastes, which it's nice that they individually package these in case one leaked. They're, these are in the, these bubble wrap bags, which you can actually save and use as a ink sort of a smushing technique. But anyway, uh, I got also I got this. I don't know if they're all six, but I got these six that are purple, green, yellowish, blue, orange, and red. Anyway, I'm just I'll just unbox one for the sake of time. But that is what I picked up. Um, my friend Elizabeth is a big fan of them, so I wanted to try them out because they sounded pretty cool. Oh, things are rolling everywhere. And then, then I got another freebie. I got one more freebie and some things that were not free. Well, this might not have been a freebie. Let's see what you are. Oh, this is the, so I got the mini wood embossing folder for the Tim Holtz houses to go with my other two. Um, which is pretty neat. I think we should play with that and do some winter houses for sure. And then I got a bag of things. And a free magic mat. But we can leave the magic mat and the shipping slip in the bag. But the other thing I picked up was the this uh, scallop die from Spellbinders that I didn't have because I've been doing projects with them and I wanted sort of a um, another layering piece. And I really like the scallops. The neat thing with these scallops is if you, you can sort of offset them and see both colors, it makes a really nice effect. And then I also picked up this. These are all sentiment stamps that coordinate with this guy. basically uh although i'm not sure because these are much smaller 
So I'm not sure if the this may be the wrong coordinating die. But basically, these all have registration points so that you could then line up a coordinating die with them. Yeah, this shadow die two. Oh, I see. This is the shadow die. Got it. Uh, so this is the shadow die, but I actually need the non-shadow die. But there's a die that coordinates with these, and we'll cut them all out. So it appears that I bought the wrong die, but that's okay. But these all basically have the same size. These are the same dimensions, essentially, so that um, with you can basically stamp out each one of these and... Um, then get a whole bunch of sentiments at once, which is something I, I very much like because it saves a lot of time. But it helps if you buy the right coordinating die. So I will have to look at that later. I don't know if they say on them. Which die they coordinate with. But anyway, we will... I will have to email LDRS and ask them which die they coordinate with so I can pick it up. Because I think this one, I think, is the, this is the shadow layer, but it is not the, yeah, this is the shadow die, but not the one that actually cuts these out. So anyway, next time I buy things from scrapbook.com or I'll just go on LDRS creatives and look at them. That's a little bit disappointing. It would be nice if they marked which die you need a little better, or I just missed it, you know. But those were those were all the birthday things I got from scrapbook.com. And then I won a gift certificate and bought some paper. I know you're shocked. Um, but I bought paper that was on my birthday list and one other thing. But we can just take a peek at that quick. <laughs> So one of my friends has been a huge fan of this Paper Rose studio stuff. So I picked up a uh, Easter collection, basically. As you know, we have the Spellbinders card kit, but I want to check this one out, too. And the die cuts are not fully die cut. Here's the other collection I got. I did get the Bros Amazing collection because it looked really cool. Um, this, this is photo play paper. This does have a coordinating stamp set I'm debating getting, but it's a little pricey for things that are basically like soft bubbles that say, they say bro and dude, and they have the bubble, and they have the Rubik's Cube and the pizza and a few other things. And I did pick up the dies that go with these. So these are all pre-die cut, but the Paper Rose ones are more like um, Paper Pumpkins, I think, where they basically provide you the... Um, they, they come on like a sheet. Yeah, you can see here. They come on a sheet and then you just pop them up. So this is sort of the visual style of this pad. Very soft tones. Very like elegant Easter kind of a vibe, I would say. So anyway, that is all the scrapbook.com stuff I picked up. And the only other thing left to talk about is Spellbinder. So... That'll be in the final video of this series, but if you've watched this far, thanks much, and talk to you guys later.